Extra, extra, Leo, read all about it. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an energy reading that I do with oracle cards. It is not a horoscope. So this is for uh, wherever Leo energy influences your life. Any sign, any house, any person that you're dealing with. Um, it always comes with an extended reading, uh, a full tarot card spread that extrapolates upon the energies that we come across here. Um, it, it goes into specifics, it personalizes it, and um, expands expands the reading and it always includes a romance reading so hop on over to the extended after this video um i'll i don't put dates on the videos anymore but i do do a new leo video every single week so if you want it fresh off the press and you want to help the channel grow please subscribe to the channel by clicking subscribe and then you can click that bell and get the uploads as soon as they go live okay leo let's get into your energy Leo, what are you sitting on? Because crowning your energy is surrender now, but you're refusing. The energy of 9 plus 3 is 12, adding back up to 3. Finding a balance and staying still and making a decision. It's only, when this card comes out, this is Sagittarius energy. When this card comes out upside down, it's almost you seeing through the chaos and knowing to not keep moving forward because something is coming or something is happening or having a feeling like something is on the horizon and saying, no, I'm not moving into that um, because I see what, what's going on. Like I know what's, I, 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 I know, usually this is intuitive. But it's basically making a decision to stay put and say, no, 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 no. I refuse to go into the flames because this is my moth to a flame card. Almost like you can't resist yourself. You're magnetically being pulled into something. Well, you're magnetically being pulled into something, but you're refusing to be pulled in. And that's because you're getting these intuitions. You're having these vibes and feelings like I can't get sucked into all of this. There is something up there, like danger ahead. Um, yeah, it's almost like you can feel, you can feel the, the hands wanting to grab at you or the trap clicking into place. Mm, avoiding traps, Leo. Avoiding traps. Or, I mean, let's, let's get into the reading. You could be avoiding getting into circumstances that you're not ready to handle right now. Right. I mean, for, in, in the most basic terms, you could be living with somebody, you know, you, we're all quarantined right now. Right. So you could be living with somebody and just avoiding getting into confrontations with them because you want to keep the peace. It could be as simple as that. We'll get deeper into the reading, but definitely the energy that's crowding your reading is knowing that there's some sort of danger ahead and deciding to not move forward or go forward. Coming out the back. This could have to do with self. Okay. Stealth and unexpected behavior. Or not wanting everybody to know what you're doing, which is strange. But there is a sense of wanting to be aloof about something very interesting as more energy goes into aquarius your opposite sign Let's see what's coming out for you tend to the small things so something has been building where you see one mouse there's about 400 in the wall um and as i said in the cancerian reading it indicates that there are cracks in the wall so this is you intuitively knowing that something has been building and creeping around and perhaps that there has been an infestation so an acknowledgement that something has to be done um but also an acknowledgement that you 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 can't go into this situation unprepared because there's there's more of them than you a lot more um know your worth the energy of five plus nine so a uh, five plus four equals nine 54 um 
something coming out, something coming to a head, a real stinker has been revealed. As in uh, something, something that was trying to keep itself smelling fresh, smelling beautiful, looking good. A sense now the big old stink has come out. Like this is the truth. This is the reality. And it could just be, you know, all the walls are down. You haven't put on makeup in weeks. Maybe you haven't showered in days. I hope not weeks. But maybe, you know, that kind of thing of usually you're into keeping up your appearances. And now it's an inc it's just letting it all go and refusing to and refusing to uh, sort of give in to what you normally would want to do, which is keep yourself up, keep yourself looking good, keep up your self image, a sense of, well, the perfect perfume's coming off, the makeup's coming off, the flowery stuff is coming off, yeah. and I'm coming out. That kind of energy. Could just be that. Could just be as simple as that, Leo. Let it go, man. Let it go. <laughs> um, but uh, on, uh, in the bigger scope, this is uh, something, has, something has been building, creepy crawling, and getting, and getting worse. And now... And now the stink has been revealed. Um, be at home. Energy of six plus eight is 14, five. So a dynamic could be changing at home. This is the heart space. This is heart chakra energy. And really the energy that you rule. Leo rules the heart and rules that sense of love. Not only uh, self-love, but like love that comes from the self and through self-love. So... This is uh, something that touches your heart, that's close to your heart space. Um, something that's been building and now being revealed. So it could, listen, this could be positive. This doesn't have to be negative. This is just an energy of something that's been building and growing and hidden. And now the gaunt, like all, all masks are off and it's been revealed. So this could be a growing love, a love that has finally been revealed. This could also be something close to the heart space, close to the home, something being revealed in the home. So either something's coming out that you're in love or that somebody's in love with you, or um, uh, pretenses have come off at home and now the truth is being shared fluently and frequently. And but this all this has to do with something that you care about a great deal or the domestic realm. Um, transformation is beautiful, and this is your central energy. Okay, so this is a huge change, but this is a permanent change. It's a change you don't come back from. Um, this is scorpionic energy. It's the center of your reading, which means that you have been awakened, that you have been enlightened, that the way that you see the world or the way that you see this circumstance or this situation. It's changed forever, but this implies it's developed. Think of this as like the death card, um, uh, but upright. So it's like something has transformed permanently into a higher state of itself, into a better version of itself. And that's why it can't go back. When the butterfly, uh, when the caterpillar becomes the butterfly, it permanently converts. It can't go back. But guess what? Now it's not this little cute but creepy crawly little thing that is tied and tethered to gravity. Now it can fly. And this is broadening and expanding yourself and becoming who you truly are and meeting up with or being in, in pulled toward meeting up with the people, um, migrating toward the people, toward the other butterflies. Um, so this could very well be... Um, no, no, no. With this energy as your crowning energy of deciding to not move forward or deciding to not get yourself into trouble or deciding to pull back and not allow yourself to or not want to be magnetically pulled towards something. Uh, but this being your central energy of transformation and, and something changing, but for the better, this is a sense of, of going into going into a change, uh, going into a new love, going into a new relationship, going into a new dynamic at home that has different, it's changed. It may not just have changed because of you, though I do feel like you are a central part of this dynamic. There is a sense that you, um, um, it's going, it's, it's going into it. I don't know. You could be trying to avoid crash and burn, like crash and burn, crashing into a new, a new relationship or a circumstance at home that is inevitably taking on a new form or a new shape. 
Um, because, it, oh yeah, clear out the clutter. This is uh, A plus two. Something is coming to maturity and fruition. Um, once again, the frog is also um, transformation or malleability in the moment, uh, being able to relinquish and release any kind of old karmic patterns or emotions and, and, and transcend them, like outgrow them. So this is an outgrowth growing out of something that was getting bigger every single day. There's a lot of green on this, on this, uh, and of course I'll flip the camera so you can see the cards. There's a lot of green energy here, which tells me more heart, heart chakra energy. I feel like you're confronting a problem. You're confronting an issue that's been going on for a long time, like tearing off all the things that were trying to like smooth it over or make it look good. And it dealt with something that was really, really close to your heart space, really in the home, maybe dealing with uh, relationship issues or a family dynamic. Something has transcended, something that you have to let go of. Definitely you have to let go of the past and accept the change and embrace the change. Um, but at the same time, there's a hesitation or you're releasing and letting go of crap that was damaging you. It's been building up for a long time and you've like, let it go. You've released it or you're relinquishing it. Um, hold on, let's keep reading the cards. Be here now, human spirit, three plus four. Um, this is Libra energy, finding balance, finding beauty in the now. So this is the now, the moment in front of you. Finding this beauty right here, right now, the sucking on the sweet nectar of life, um, building something. So this is the energy of seven. So creation, creativity, working to build something. Um, but you're doing it by focusing on what's in front of you right here, right now. It's almost like protection. Like you're protecting what you've built or what you've worked on by not, by not looking too far into the future, by not, by not letting yourself be sucked in too quick and too fast. You want to experience what's happening right here, right now. And that's what's helping you stay balanced and stay in a beautiful state of mind or where you're finding balance and um, asylum or escape um, from the worries and the, and the um, issues that you know are literally uh, being uncovered. Like I can see this cracking and falling away of any kind of camouflage and like the issues that are being revealed. You're trying, it, you, it's not that you aren't dealing with them. You can't rush, you know that you can't rush into it all at once. This is a larger problem and you can't just dive bomb into it. You need to go step by step slowly and see how it unfolds before you really know how to deal with it or handle it. I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra, um, but this is partnership once again trying step by step and little by little to deal with this circumstance, this partnership, whether it be a business partnership or a romantic partnership, deal with this partnership as it seems seemingly starts to crumble in front of you, um, but trying to protect it and honor what it is by not just bum rushing it and making decisions too quickly. Uh, trust in detour, uh, trust in divine tea. Okay. This is coyote energy. Um, also the energy of seven. So allowing for a uh, spirit to sort of get involved and guide you in a different direction. But I feel like this is more an acknowledgement, Leo, that this partnership or this, this issue that you're dealing with is turning, changing and turning your life in a different direction and knowing that you have to allow it. I do feel some resistance, some, not necessarily some denial, but resist, like holding back, holding back the reins to not like dive off the cliff too soon or, or uh, try to avoid diving off the cliff. It's not that you're not allowing the detour to occur, but you do want to have some sort of influence over the momentum as well as like, don't take me over a cliff. You're not going to take me over a cliff kind of energy. This energy of knowing that things are changing and they are and trying. It's just 
normally this is like go with the flow, let spirit guide you, but I'm, I feel the resistance. Like I can, I can, I can feel the holding back that this type of refusal to, um, not refusal to change, but to just allow yourself to, to go into it head first. Okay. Sing your own song. Balancing out, this is Gemini energy, so communication, communication being central and being key, um, sincerity in what you say and the truth coming out. This is liberation, feeling liberated, feeling freed, maybe from the self-imposed restriction that you're putting on yourself, um, wanting and longing, finding, this is your grounding energy, finding that um, um, solace and, the, and, and being able to ground yourself in Finally being able to release and say or show or comment on um, what has been going on for so long. Um, maybe you've had to keep it to yourself for quite some time. That's what it feels like. And now you're the one that's detoured. You're the one that's changed. Um, and and maybe that's what it was. You were you knew you were headed toward the flames. You knew you were dive bombing. And the, and the diversion or the detour was you refuse, you refuse, you refuse to dive bomb. You refuse to be like a moth into the flame by finally throwing the gauntlets down, uh, revealing the truth and discussing what needed to be discussed. A rebirth is a church. This is a hundred percent change, a change in your attitude, a change in your personality, a change in the decision-making process that you, that you want, that you, uh, had engaged in a sense of coming out of the dark. It, for me, that energy is coming out of the dark. Once again, transformation, something coming out of the dark or being released, uh, something that had been hidden, being exposed and being realized and changing that dynamic for good. So something had been going on in the dark. Uh, turn knowledge into wisdom. Wow. Yeah, there are definitely secrets that have been kept. This is like moon energy, something that you knew for a long time. So you had been, this is Pisces energy. Think of this as the moon card. Uh, six plus seven is 13, which adds up to four. It actually psychically stabilizing you. Like because you've known it and you've seen it on the horizon and you believe in your psyche and you believe in your intuition. In other words, your intuition is correct. And now the change is that you're allowing it to guide you. You're allowing your intuition to ground you. You don't need the facts. The facts are simply this. You know that it's been happening for quite some time. And now, bam, you're coming out and revealing it and discussing it because you saw yourself headed off the cliff. That's what this is. And then freedom is yours, liberation, three plus three equals up to six. So it has to do once again with the heart space and love, um, maybe even more partnership, right? Freedom and liberation, like getting yourself out of circumstance or a situation that is hurting you or harming you. Then that doesn't necessarily mean getting yourself out of the partnership, but getting yourself out of the lack of ability to discuss something. There's a, There was something that you were... Um, holding on to and repressing and forcing down and now you're letting it all out like a wild horse running free liberated this is Aquarian energy something that has been building something that you've been knowing something that you saw ahead of time and now the the horses are out of the gate and you know it's it's left up to itself um the horses are out of the gate and you know whoever's going to win the race is who's going to win the race but now it's been released and exposed and i think you were part of the expose um whale spirit trust in the great mystery this is also the energy of six plus five adds up to 11 awakening so this is you deciding to dive in into the deep end so it's, you're not going toward the flame you're not you're not allowing yourself to crash and burn by going the opposite direction, which is to dive into faith, dive into the psyche, dive into the waters, which is the emotions. Allow your emotions, trust in your emotions, let them guide you, let them show you the way forward. In other words, you're deciding to trust in what you psychically know what you understand and what you've realized and it doesn't have to have proof or it's not that you don't have proof or fact it's that you know the direction and you you're 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 going full speed ahead into the direction that your intuition is guiding you um 
And I think it has to do with letting this circumstance or this situation go, being honest and unveiling all of the issues, like literally confronting it face on because you saw that you were headed toward destruction. You saw that there was going to be a crash and burn. And that was it. That was the refusal. The, I'm not going to let this crash and burn. We're going to discuss this. We're going to talk about this or I'm going to expose this, reveal this so that it doesn't become worse than it is. So what you've done dived into is that watery um, sort of watery uh, net or uh, a, once again asylum to keep you away from crashing and burning and that is basically delving into your psyche your intuition and your emotions and owning it accepting it loving it realizing it honoring it and then talking it singing about it like believing in yourself, believing in what you feel, sharing it and sharing it with the world, communicating it, but it has to do with one person. This has to do with some sort of partnership that is changing, some sort of dynamic that is definitely, um, there is so many love nuances here too, but we'll get into that with your romantic reading. So many, um, 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 Interesting, because this could also be just deciding to delve and dive into the love, a, a love, a, a love situation that's been building for some time. And it may have, you may have basically, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, this is your crowning energy. But the, what matters is that you're, that you saw the your opportunity slipping away. You just saw it deteriorating because issues were building. And, um, um, as it started to chip away, you, you, you decided to step in and do something by, by uh, following your intuition and trusting in it. Hold on, let me flip the camera around. Okay, so this is massive grounding energy, Pisces, Aquarian energy, um, sort of tapping into the ether and the psyche and diving deep into it. Um, It's like you're literally transforming from a 3D being to a 5D being, kind of like um, allowing your wings to spread and become something bigger and greater and more. But I think you're doing it emotionally, uh, allowing yourself to broaden and expand. And it could very well be um, like seeing that there, it could very well be seeing that there were issues on the horizon with a relationship that was happening and being done with it. Like wanting to now focus just on the here and now and not hoping or looking too far into the future. Um, deciding to not look into the future or that this, this circumstance or situation doesn't have a future. Realizing it, whether it hurt or not. Realizing that that's your way to freedom. That that's what you had to accept. A sense of this isn't going anywhere and there, there wasn't a chance of it changing. Um, now that this does once again... That doesn't necessarily have to be a partnership. It could be something that you were trying. It was definitely something that's been building for a long time, but no matter what, it turned out to be something that did not, something that did not, um, was not as beautiful as it seemed like it was going to be in the, in the first place. And so not allowing it to continue. Like calling it out, pulling the reins back, and pointing to it and saying, no, 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 do you see? That's a mess. That's a mess we're headed into. I'm going to go into the extended and, and, and the romantic reading and extrapolate more details. I hope that you guys will join me, um, Leo. Um, thank you so much for watching. The link to the extended is below. I will see you guys over there.